Do your backside flips look like this? Well, mine too. Which is why I decided to go and do hundreds of backside flips and try and make them as good as possible and make them look super nice. And this is my journey and all of the things I learned along the way. But first, my backside flips looked like this. It was super rocket and it was just super close to the ground. And those were the two main things that made my backside flips not good looking. For like a whole day, I just went and it was like backside flip, backside flip, backside flip, backside flip and I'm just doing them over and over and over again. The first thing I wanted to fix was me not consistently getting the whole rotation and getting it to you know go around so I can land on it. Because if I wasn't landing it consistently, then I, there was no reason for me to try and make it look better because I wasn't landing it. So I noticed that I was under rotating a lot of the time and then that was the main source of the reason why I couldn't land it because I would land like 90 and then it would just but I'd fall off or something like that. I started just turning my shoulders sooner so turning my shoulders before I started to do the pop and everything really helped with the consistency. And I landed them really quickly after that. Um, and I was just, you know, landing them, landing them, landing them, but they weren't good looking yet. I decided to move on to the next thing, which was the tail was super close to the, the ground, even though I was flicking up as much as I could. Kind of compensate, but it was really just making it rocket. So I, and I realized I was going through the whole day and I realized that the reason it wasn't popping was because I was scooping it, not popping it. Which sounds pretty obvious, but like whenever you're doing the trick, I felt like I was popping it, but then I looked the footage back and it was, it wasn't like a pop, it was a, you know what I mean? I, I focused on popping straight down. I started doing that and it made it a lot better, but my flicking still wasn't the greatest. It popped a lot more, but it still was rocket sometimes. So I just kept doing that. I just, you know, backside flip, backside flip, backside flip, backside flip, backside flip. I have a lot of backside flips in footage right now. So I'm gonna fit them wherever I can. <laughs> so I finally figured out, I started flicking differently. So I flicked straight down, I flicked up, I flicked straight this way. I started flicking more to the left. And I found that if you flick, so like when you start doing the 180, you want to flick where your, so like your shoulders, you want to flick where the little pocket is basically. And by the time you're doing the rotation, you pop it and then you go to flick, the, the, the pocket on the, the board is not in the same place that it was if you were just doing a regular kickflip. It's more to your, uh, your left. So you want to flick more to the left. So you want to start rotating your shoulders and then pop straight down and then flick. Basically, whenever you start popping, like my hand is the skateboard, you start popping, it's already like this by the time you're flicking. So instead of flicking right here, you're gonna have to flick over here. Adjust, you want it whenever you're going out to try these kick flips, adjust all of these things slightly and then just find your sweet spot and then you should be able to get them really good. So start with, you know, turn your shoulders right before you pop and adjust when you're turning your shoulders and just try, try it like really soon, like before you do anything, just yank your shoulders around and then pop straight down. And then you wanna flick where the pocket of the board is. So whenever you flick at it, getting it in the pocket is what's making it do the boned out look. After these two days, these three tips made me better at them and I got some pretty clean ones after that. All right, those are my three tips for better backside flips and I hope you enjoyed them. Go out and test them for yourself. Um, if it doesn't work for you right away, just you know, adjust it slightly. Um, that's what I've been doing. That's how I, how I made this video was I just did a bunch of backside flips, figured out what I didn't like and then adjusted accordingly. So go out, try a backside flip and then do the same thing. I hope this video helped you out and click on one of these two videos to go enjoy another one and I will see you later.